I have a pretty serious problem in that I have so much stoner stuff that I literally don't know what to do with it. I have it kind of scattered throughout my house. And I would like to get most of it together and organized into this chest of cabinets. I already utilized both of these bottom drawers. They are so full that they barely open. But recently I got rid of the stuff that was in these two top drawers. So we have some space to spread it out, go through the things and organize it. This is one of our favorite videos is when I go through the stoner shit and organize it. I don't know why you guys love it so much, but if this is your vibe, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. That way I know to continue to do it because um, I have multiple spaces around my house that I that need to be organized. Before we break into it though, I got this massive box from The Hemp Doctor who are so kindly sponsoring today's video with their amazing 420 sale. They have a freaking sale happening. I'll have all the details down in the pinned comment. I, I'm promising you, you don't want to miss out on it. Check the pink comment. All right, some cute stickers. Shine bright like a dime bag. <laughs> That's a cute one. Their t-shirt in my favorite color says hemp doctor on the back as well. All of this is hemp derived, which means that it is federally legal. It's like the online legal things. Cute. Um, of course, we're going to get elevated on the supply that they sent. I am going to get high on my own supply. This here, oh, that's a stinky bag. They sent proof to the things that stunk because the rest of this box must be like edibles and vapes. This is what was in the bag. 10 pack of watermelon gummies, a 10 pack of tangerine gummies with CBN in them for nighttime, Blue Dream and Alaska Thunderfuck pre-rolls. They're both sativas. They both come in like these glass dupe tubes so you can snuff them out. You can put them right back in there. I never finish a, a pre-roll in like one sitting. I cannot do it. I don't know why I can't do it. I just, I literally can't. <gasps> That is so much nicer than I was expecting, and I think it was dipped in Keef. Why am I touching it like that? This is more of a whole blunt. It has a glass tip and a corn husk filter. You will get no snacks. Um, it looks like it was rolled in Keef and also dipped in Keef in the top. <laughs> so we about to get thunder fucked. <laughs> I touched it in a stupid way for a second, and my fingers are like already sticky. So I think it's rolled. It's rolled in some concentrate too. <laughs> this, how big is this? Oh, it's three grams. It's a tenth of an ounce. It's THCA, which if you're unfamiliar with THCA, it is gone viral. It's hemp derived. It's fully federally legal. But when you add heat, it turns it into THC, just like the regular stuff that you get at the dispo. Oh, it is definitely rolled in an oil um, the way that lit up. That is a nice smoke. I'm gonna dump it back in there though. Does this happen to anybody else that as soon as you start smoking a pre-roll, your lips and your tongue like feel slightly numb? I don't understand what it is. Okay, and then the other thing that was in here are these THCA pre-rolls. Sugar diamond infused, sour diesel, sativa, half gram little pre-rolls. And they came in like their own, look at that. Nice to stick in a little fanny pack. What? Southern High THC Seltzer Strawberry Lemonade. It came in a Hemp Doctor Can Koozie too, which was just, that was so cute. Sugar-free, gluten-free, alcohol-free, vegan, Delta 9. This is like the thing, 10 milligrams of CBG and only five milligrams of Delta 9 THC in here. Hemp derived, of course, but this is like, this is the thing that I take to parties now and it's so it's been freaking glorious. If I don't have like my drink or a water bottle in my hand, I will get asked constantly if I want a drink. But if I have this, then I don't know. It just, it feels discreet. It doesn't need to be. I usually, if people ask, I'll usually tell them. But it is discreet if you care about that. And um, it's low dose. It's five milligrams. So you're not, at least for me, I'm not going to get absolutely ripped. I can have a couple if I would like. And I always like to have a drink in my hand. It's just... I always have like two or three drinks around me. <laughs> oh, the next thing in here is also like a drink. It is a 25 milligram Delta 9 THC rapid release, like those powder sticks. Raspberry lemonade has always been like a real good choice. This is that KO fucked up too. 25 milligrams, it's kind of a lot for a drink. You get 10 sticks in here. I kind of want to dump one in my water. Oh, I probably should have used one of those, um, the milk frothers to really whisk it in. That was too much powder for, for the little bit of water that I had. <laughs> oh my God, that was so strong in like six ounces. Don't do that. 
that tastes like lemonade now. Raspberry lemonade? A little bit. More lemonade. I definitely get that. This is one of their fucked up vapes. KO um, line the mega. Oh, it's so cute. I love all of their little vapes. The screen is, why is this disposable? Have like such a sweet screen. How big is this? How much is in here? Six and a half grams. It's 0.23 ounces. Holy smokes. Um, okay, so for that then, I'm gonna suggest that you always just keep it on low. If you trip it three times, if you click it three times, it, see how it says H for high, click it three more times, and then it'll go L for low. That way you don't like burn it up so fast. Don't do blinkers on it because then you're going to burn up that coil. Um, and that way you can get the most out of six and a half grams. Cause, oh my God, that's wild. Wow, I didn't taste anything at first. All on the exhale. A couple packs of their really high potency, like super high potency gummies. There's 420 milligrams per gummy and they are like average sized gummies. Lemonhead OG, two grams. I don't think I've ever tried I don't think I've ever tried their stuff before. Um, it is, oh shit, maybe I should do it this way. It's sugar sauce. All right, thank you so much, Hemp Doctor, for sending that box my way and for getting us views throughout this entire video. Now we are going to get to organizing, figuring out where I'm gonna put the stuff that I just got. Hi, if you're new here, I like to organize things. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, I will make more organizing content. Things around the house. All right, come look at this. Oh my God, it is in there. That drawer is not as bad, but I mean, like clearly it can't stay like that. Okay, this one I can't open. Uh, don't judge me on this drawer. <laughs> this was stuff that I intended to give away. These are the peeps that I am dehydrating. And then these are things that I got that I wanna test out. So like I said, I do actually like organizing. So I have an entire system where I use these little tags that I made to sort the things out of the drawers. That way I know what's actually going back in. I can organize it back in easier. And then I can see where everything else is going. And it does help me like get rid of more stuff, I'm convinced. So now I just sort the things from in there into these categories. Since I can't close this drawer, this is the one that I'm gonna empty out first. For some reason I have edibles in here. I'm pretty sure these are expired. These have been in here a really long time. Yeah, so I shouldn't have any, I'm gonna put, oh, that's what I can do. I can put like, I could still spread this stuff out. So I have four drawers to work with, but I'm really only utilizing two. So I'm thinking this drawer could be edibles and vapes. Currently I have them in my closet but I could kind of get everything in one place and free up a little closet space. Plus in my closet, I have all of like the boxes for the devices. So I shouldn't even have this in here or this or this. Oh, that's glass. I shouldn't have anything consumable. There's another box. Wow, we are already making progress. This is looking so much better. <laughs> oh, probably too many rolling trays. There once was a time I had my own sticker kit yeah so that that's like a keepsake i don't think i should even keep that in there i've considered doing a video on um things that i just absolutely hate so i've kept a couple of things for that but how about we don't ever do that i don't like this because it's blowing stale smoke in my face and even though it's a really cute party trick i hate stale smoke so i'm gonna give this away and then this thing is so freaking cool it's a maison berger paris like uh i think i had to order it from canada what you do is you fill it up with this liquid and you can get this uh like odor eliminating one and you light it for like five minutes then you put it out and you leave this little diffuser cap on and the smell is gone so damn fast but if you forget to come back in like an hour and put the cap back on then it will like diffuse all of the oil straight out of it and i'm pretty sure it was like forty dollars 
to fill it up. That's insane, right? I think I paid like $100 for this, but this, nah. I need a jars, I'm so excited. All right, let's get this emptied out. glasses that you can pinch down Ugh, really hard Ugh. basically break every time um, and stuff a pre-roll in there and go to like a concert or something they're so fat how do I look so far out of that drawer this is what's being kept but this is what belongs elsewhere this is getting donated slash sold and then that's trash or recycling. So I feel like we actually made quite a bit of progress. I think that that calls for a little celebration. So we are going to try the Lemonhead OG um, sugar sauce. Oh, that is saucy. I would not leave that in your car. I wouldn't really, I wouldn't leave any dab in the car. Come on, there we go. Oh, that's nice. All right. Oh, and I get a peep. This is how you stay motivated. You have to reward yourself every fucking step of the way, every accomplishment. This is good to have. you got just what I like. Come on, baby, let's kiss the fire. What you want to do? Tell me what you like. What you want to do? Tell me what you like. What you want to do? Tell me what you like. Just say the word, baby, I'ma get you right. What you want to do? Tell me what you like. What you want to do? Tell me what you like. What you want to do? Tell me what you like. Ain't got to say it, I know I'm the one you like. Oh, damn, so the DJ turn a beat up. Got a white boy who be singing like a beat up. Not sure where you died there, but we are making some progress. We are done with two drawers. Emptied and like sorted, somewhat condensed, um, a lot less stuff that I'm keeping than I expected. This is going swell. So I think I'm just gonna move all of the consumable type things. What, what am I doing here? I'm gonna put these peeps back on top to dehydrate more properly. This drawer is pretty easy because all this stuff was already earmarked for giveaway. Okay, and then this is some random shit I wanna try, like mixing different herbs into my flower. Maybe I should turn those around so I can read those. I will most likely eventually fill this up with edibles. And then this one. I can chase some man for no paper. I just think it's sweet. I'ma show him now or later. I be getting money on a wake up. He a broke boy, so that bitch get his cake up. Only with dope boys, they the ones who spend it paper. Get your weight up. I think sometimes when we sesh together and then I get a little over ambitious, I get I maybe get rid of too many things that I'm gonna regret later. I should clean these drawers. They're not the cleanest. Okay, we're taking a quick try on pause. It's a pause where I'm gonna try on my order that I just got in from Cider. It is so smoky in here. I need to turn on the filter. I'm gonna try on the, there's two dresses. I'm really excited. This is dress number one. It's super cute. It's a little looser than I was expecting. It's probably exactly my size and that's fine. I could, I could cinch it in a little bit. This one looks really hard to get on. Could you imagine me with short hair? Oh. This one also feels slightly too big. I did put in my measurements and I went with what they said. I wish the uh, cutouts extended to the back, but overall, it's hard to get on now. This, this neck is tight, there's no zipper. Middle drawers up first. I have such a vast dry herb vape collection that I think I'm gonna section this one off and dump like all my dryer vapes over here. Fuck, man. Total Cine Eddie in the stay up. In the stay up. 
out here mad, told him assalamualaikum Who that bitch five five, she don't even need no makeup What you wanna do, tell me what you like What you wanna do, tell me what you like What you wanna do, tell me what you like Just say the word, baby, I'ma get you right What you wanna do, tell me what you like what you wanna do? Tell me what you okay, I know that this felt like chaotic energy and it truly is, but these are all my dryer vapes. Well, not all of them, but all the ones that I could find in drawers. These are all my Dynavaps. And then these are all every dryer vape accessory. There's a little bit of concentrate stuff in here. I'll, I'll fine tune it later. Uh, I'll take those out. It's like glass and other accessories for the dryer vapes. I guess I really don't need this since everything is in a bin. Oh, I was also gonna stick this in here. This is for dry herb vapes, not quite yet on the market. What I just did to get all of those accessories too, you're gonna think I'm absolutely insane. I went through all of the bin. The whole, the whole thing is filled with like dry herb vape boxes and stuff that I'm convinced that I'm gonna need. Plus they have like their manuals and maybe some additional accessories. And if I ever get rid of one, I'll put it back in its box. But it's like taking up space. These are all filled with devices still. And then this is my bin of edibles and vapes. So I'm gonna go through this real quick and just loosely dump all the edibles in that bin, in that drawer. Ain't gotta say it, I know I'm the one you like. Listen here, my high buy just showed up and I opened it up and I'm beyond obsessed with it and you have to check it out. You have to look at it with me. <gasps> have you ever seen anything more perfect? It is bedazzled from top to bottom. It is my favorite colors. And even has a pot leaf with a peace sign symbol and it's rainbow on the back. <laughs> It was custom made. I actually didn't know exactly what I wanted. So I just asked Oracle of Sparkle Cup Studios to come up with something for me. Gave gave him an idea like my favorite colors. He already knows my name. Kind of had the idea that it was going to be a pot leaf of some sort, but this like this came out so magically. I literally cried when I opened it. I cried. This is a perfect drink for like a sauce. It takes so long to melt it. It doesn't get all gunked up. It doesn't like puddle. You know what word needs to be used way more often than it is? Audacity. Audacity. It has almost the amount of oomph as like a swear word. The audacity. The audacity. Here's what I wanna do. I want to separate the stuff into like at least two categories so we can kind of split them up between two drawers. I'm thinking one category is going to be um, smoking and the other one accessories. No, I feel like all of this could fit in a single drawer, but I don't, I don't want it to because I need space to continue to add because I'm always adding, I'm, on, I'm subtracting, but now I'm in like the make space, have space so we could add more phase. That's what, all right, I'm gonna split it up like in the different smoke sessions. So we have dry herb vaping, then I think we do like a combustion section and then like a dabbing section and we might need, we definitely will need like a batteries section, easy enough. What I'm struggling with is the idea of what is, what is for combustion? That's not even a hard thing to struggle. I should put everything for combustion in a pile. So I have all of the papers. I have the mousse labs, the lighters, um, batteries go somewhere else. I have a spoon. This is a uh, speed cone roller. It's so fucking cool, but um, yeah, it takes up a lot of space. Stash jars, but I actually need these ones in my bathroom because I just got, I just bought two ounces Electronics, electronics. This is a grinder cone roller. Okay, this is starting to feel like a lot. We have the um, the rolling trays, the ashtrays, the bong mat, chill steel pipes, um, extra necks, neck tubes. Um, that's like accessory-ish. Dabbing, which is technically combustion. Let me grab that stuff. Smoke filter, um, specialty bowls, cleaning. 
bits I feel like can go somewhere else. And then this also goes with dabbing. I feel like we can fit all of this in a drawer. It's fine. We can do it. You love it when I get so high and drop that thing so low. Make you sit right here. Now you can't go back home. You love it when I get so high and drop that thing so low. Make you sit right here. Now you can't go back home. You love it when I get so high and drop that thing so low. Make you sit right here. Now you can't go back home. You love it when I get so high and drop that thing so low. Make you sit right here, nah, you can't go back home I am drank up and I'm banked up and I'm fade faded You bend it down and you poke it up and you elevate it I'm drank up and I'm banked up and I'm fade faded You bend it down and you poke it up and you elevate it You guys, we did it! The drawers are all organized, they look absolutely gorgeous That was so much fun, that was so relaxing I was a little hyper for it, but Oh my god, it's so pretty. Do you want to see? Let's smoke a little blunt first and then we'll check out the final results. And not the edibles drawer though because I just dumped that shit in. I need to go through and check every single expiration date. That's just not in the cards for today. But the other drawers are so organized, so nice. You know what this smells like and it just shot me back? There's this one time that I stayed at this house party. I spent the night at this house party. Um, back when I was like early 20s, of course we were all smoking weed. Everybody was drinking. It was a Mountain Dew and vodka days. And this smells exactly like the weed that we were smoking that night. Like awesome fucking memory. We wandered through the woods until we found a 7-Eleven. I was with a boyfriend and an ex-boyfriend and it was somehow just, it was a great night. As a reminder, these are the befores of the drawers. They were terrible. They were cluttered. There was way too much in there. There was things that didn't belong in there. There were consumable items that weren't supposed to be in there. There were like device boxes and devices that weren't supposed to be in there. Um, and then just a clusterfuck of a random other two drawers. We gotta organize. We have everything in one place. We can find things easily. We can, we can find accessories for things easily. This is beautiful. So excited that we got that done. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for seshing along. Huge shout out to The Hemp Doctor for sponsoring today's video. You should check The Pink Comet. They're a pretty spectacular brand. They have hella good reviews. Also a huge shout out to all my patrons for making videos like this possible and all of you for hanging out and being here. Please consider hitting subscribe before you leave. Love you all so damn much. I'll see you next time. Bye.